Locker share is the name given to an originally, now recovered, lost test recording of the SpongeBob SquarePants episode Squidward and Clarinet Land. It is speculated that the test recording aired on February 4th, 2010, a month before the first official broadcast of the episode on Nickelodeon. The recording is infamous for containing disturbing material not suitable for kids, including graphic content and grotesque imagery. On July 14th, 2023, a user would upload the test recording onto YouTube, explaining in the description of the video upload that they had stumbled across the footage from a hard drive found from an Orlando Film Festival back in 2014. The hard drive also contained storyboard content from the episode. The YouTube description reads as follows. A week back, a friend of mine presented me the challenge of taking a look through some stuff he recovered on an old hard drive he claims was from a film festival held in Orlando back in 2014. To our surprise, we found a lot of Nickelodeon-related content on there. But by far the most interesting was an early test screening and storyboard for the episode Squidward and Clarinet Land. From what I've been able to restore, it looks like the episode by this time was still very much incomplete, and largely just for quality assurance, though take that with a grain of salt. Apologies for all the static, by the way. It came that way when we got our hands on it. Synopsis. The recording begins with a white placeholder card with bold black letters, reading Spongebob backslash pound 223 dash 718 locker share. The running time being 10 minutes, 43 seconds, test screening number 1A, 0204, 2010. Broadcast draft 0204, 2010 through 2015 edition. The recording opens as Squidward is arriving to the Krusty Krab despite getting pummeled with a face full of rocks by an incidental's boat. But he shrugs it off in a unusually happy mood. As Squidward goes through the Krusty Krab's doors and gets ready for work, a sensor bar is placed where originally SpongeBob would be before he opens the door. The recording cuts to Mr. Krabs scratching on a chalkboard that proceeds to make the customers inside the restaurant act unusual and distressed. Panning over to Squidward behind the counter, still smiling before the recording cuts out again to a brief exchange between Squidward and Mr. Krabs. The two argue over adding a place for Squidward to store his clarinet. However, compared to the full episode, the conversation is cut short and Mr. Krabs concedes. The recording cuts over to Squidward walking towards the locker with SpongeBob nearby, still censored out on screen with his dialogue muted. The sound of thumping is heard inside the locker. Squidward and SpongeBob go inside. The scene cuts over to the image of a grotesque beating heart on the floor of the locker's cabinet labyrinth, being lit up with a single light as it continues to beat. The recording then abruptly cuts back to black for a few seconds, before returning back to Squidward searching for Spongebob in the labyrinth. Spongebob appears momentarily uncensored compared to previous scenes, a high-pitched sound being emitted during his appearance. Squidward then gives chase to Spongebob, though is met by a wall, turning the other way and discovering a hole in between the cabinets. The recording becomes jumbled with static and noises for a brief moment after Squidward climbs in, cutting to him walking around clarinet land. As Squidward walks around, a censored Spongebob can be seen running, Squidward running after him once more before being abruptly stopped by the head of an eagle, 
and as the eagle is shown on screen, the recording's quality progressively deteriorates. The audio muted with it. As the eagle grabs Squidward with its tongue, it proceeds to be overlapped with a high-pitched recording of zealous gibberish, implying the eagle to be speaking what is being heard. The eagle then proceeds to eat Squidward, a jumbled mess of overlapping scenes from later in the episode being shown, with progressively louder screams from Squidward being heard alongside distorted imagery of Squidward in visible agony. The recording cuts after a few seconds, ending. Several controversies have emerged since the upload of the test recording on YouTube. The most prevalent drama surrounds the discourse around the later half of the recording and the disturbing imagery that was shown. While a majority of people believe the recording to be a hoax, multiple conspiracies have sprung up online as a result of the upload. Sponge Control Conspiracy Originating online through several cartoon internet forums, Sponge Control is a conspiracy theory that claims that production company United Plankton Pictures Incorporated and broadcasting network Nickelodeon are a part of an elaborate cover-up regarding a mimetic hijacking device capable of altering the perception of the viewer and the broadcast they're currently watching in order to brainwash the viewer into unhealthy levels of media consumption. Both Nickelodeon and United Plankton Pictures Incorporated have of course denied these claims and have gone on record to say that no such device actually exists. Due to the company's public response regarding accusations, this has grown the conspiracy theory's mainstream prevalence over time. So much so that believers in the sponge control's conspiracy theory believe the locker share test recording to be vital proof of the conspiracy's legitimacy. 